Hello guys! We are the Team Jambu and we are going to talk about animal cells. We all know that the cell is the smallest unit of life. It is the building block of all organisms. To be able to live, organisms need processes. These processes occur in the organ system and the organ systems consist of organs. These organs have specific functions thanks to species. These tissues are made out of a group of cells which actually performs a specific function of the organs. But the question is, how does cell actually do it? Paano nila magagampanan ang kanilang mga tungkulin sa organismo? To answer your question, Irene, cells also have organelles. And organelles have specific function that they do to make up a cell. Upang labos ang intindihan, in this video, we are going to discuss the cell organelles. Not only in a layman's term, but rather more on analogy. So stick around guys as we discuss it to you. We are the Team Jambu and this is Cell Anatomy and Physiology 101. control center of the cell. It is also part of the cell which is responsible for maintaining the cell's hereditary material or the DNA. It is in charge of organizing a variety of important cellular processes including protein synthesis, cell division, and a number of other important functions. For example, the university head or a president is like a nucleus because they manage and directs the school and ensures that all students attend and receive the education that they needed. Cell membrane or plasma membrane. Heading to the next organelle, it is similar to monitoring the students through the gates, keeping peace and order from the external environment. This is the cell membrane or plasma membrane. It has a lot of functions, mostly involving transport and communication between the inside and outside of the cell, that acts as selective barrier to determine what moves into and out of the cell, like the guards in the campus. The evil weight who comes in and out by the university's waterfall. The cytoplasm. Arriving into the space of the cell, ito ay nakaugnay sa malawak na larangan ng campus. Binubuo ito ng iba't ibang mga istruktura na kumukompleto sa mahalagang function ng sirkulasyon. This is the cytoplasm. The material enclosed by the cell membrane includes both organelles and the liquid inside the cell. Ang malaking field ay tumutulong upang maging espasyo na ginagawang mas komportable ang transportasyon at mga nakatutuwang kaganapan sa loob ng campus. Drawing near the cell, we have the mitochondria, the cell's powerhouse. The site of cellular respiration is responsible for the synthesis of energy in the form of ATP needed by the other organelles to perform their function correctly. Just like our school canteen, they provide food for the students and school staff. They gain energy which is needed by the body that boosts our concentrations on the lectures and delivering the pieces of information. Ribosomes There are about 10 million ribosomes which is an RNA and protein-based intercellular structure and a site of protein synthesis all attached along a ribbon-like structure called the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Ribosomes in the rough endoplasmic reticulum are called membrane-bound and are responsible for reading the instructions or the sequence from the nucleus carried out by the messenger RNA and converts the genetic code into a specified string of amino acids, creating long chains that fold to form proteins. Just like our teachers and professors, they are responsible for conveying the instructions from the university head or president to the students, teaching, assisting with the development of the students, and publishing of scholarly papers and books which help the future generations. In the plasma reticulum, in the plasma reticulum or ER is a network of membranes that form flattened sacs or tubules. It extends from the nuclear envelope throughout the cytoplasm. ER has two forms, the smooth ER, which is the major site of protein synthesis, and the rough ER, the major site of lipid synthesis. In our analogy, in the plasmic reticulum is like our university offices. Our university offices is responsible for receiving, handling, and disseminating information, just like the ER, which produces biomolecules for the rest of the organelles and transport it from one to another, which enables the cells to function. The 
Golgi Apparatus The Golgi Apparatus or the traffic director for the cellular proteins is found in the cytoplasm close to the endoplasmic reticulum. Its main functions are to transport, modify, and package the proteins to deliver it to their destinations. The Golgi Apparatus is like our classrooms. It is where the learning of the cells and the organization of the proteins happens. The classroom is a room dedicated primarily to teaching or learning activities where knowledge is formulated. With the help of the teachers, we can compare to as ribosomes, it is the place where knowledge is organized and that prepares and molds the student to their best capacity. Lysosomes Lysosomes are membrane bonds and organelles that contain digestive enzymes. They break down excess or run out cell parts, as well as they may be used to destroy invading viruses and bacteria. In their simplest form, lysosomes are visualized as dense spherical vacuoles, but they can display considerable variation in size and shape as a result of differences in the materials that have been taken up for digestion. Lysosomes can be compared to our school janitors. Like them, Lysosomes clean up carbohydrates and proteins. They clean waste and other materials just like a lysosome would do inside the cell. It is important to note that the digestion of lipids also happens in the lysosomes. Just like we usually do, we dispose our own bottles in the trash bins that will later be recycled for further uses. The Pyroxysomes Coming close to where it is known as the detoxification center, which is more abundant in the liver and the kidneys, the pyroxysomes. Its microbodies are found in the cytoplasm of animals and cells, for about 0.5 to 1 micrometer in size. They break down organic molecules via oxidation to produce hydrogen peroxide, which is then converted into hydrogen and water. The same as pyroxysomes. Our guidance office breaks down the inappropriate behavior of a student to produce a well-mannered discipline trait and a responsible one, which will then convert students to grow and develop themselves. The cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton acts as the cell's bones and muscles by functioning an internal foundation that creates the cell's shape supports other organelles and provides the machinery for transportation inside the cell and several cellular movements. Ito ay binubuo ng mga microfilaments, mga intermediate filaments at mga microtubules na nagpapanatili ng intracellular na organisasyon. We can compare it to our campus payments for example. It directs drivers by a path of traffic to their destinations inside the campus. The microfilaments and tubules can also be compared to our land structures. Like the trees surrounding our amphitheater, its roots hold the soil that creates a compact foundation that enables the establishment to stand still until today. Now that we already discussed the generalized cell to you guys, now why may natutunan yo? At sanay, gamitin niyo ito at pagputihin pa. Again, we are the Team Ganbu, nagpapasalamat sa inyong panonood. Sa uulitin, paalam!